Hey guys, what's up? Mystical here from A Cup of Death Gaming, and this week on our Tutorial Tuesday, we're going to answer the question, what's the best settings for the Hophog HD PVR2? This was actually a video we did a while back, a couple years ago. Um, however, we've had a lot of people asking for an updated version of that video uh, since Hophog has released uh, new software since the original release of the Hophog HD PVR2. Okay, so we're going to assume that you have the device installed, that you have everything set up, and that you have the Hophog Capture software open on your screen as I do here. You can see we have an Xbox One as our game screen. That's what's going through our Hophog HD PVR2. Um, and you can see all the settings under the Capture tab here on the left side and the Advanced tab. Now before we actually adjust the video settings and the settings under the Advanced tab, I do want to mention that in order to get the absolute best quality, you want to make sure that the input that your computer is receiving, which would be the output of your console or whatever device you have going through your Hophog, um, is at the absolute best settings um, on the output end of theirs. So on my Xbox One, I have it set to output at 1080p 60 frames per second. So this is software is telling me that the input that the Hophog is receiving from my Xbox One is 1080p at 60 frames per second. If you're doing anything less than that, receiving anything less than that in, um, you're, you're missing out on the best uh, video that you can get out of the Hophog HD PVR2. So I feel that that is worth mentioning. And every console and every device that you might have coming through the Hophog might be different, but that settings you'll have to check within that actual uh, console or other computer that you're using or whatever it is. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's jump right in. The only video setting that you actually want to change on the main page is the video quality. Uh, I believe the default is 8.5 megabits per second, and that's a variable bit rate. We want to change that to a constant and jack it up to 14 megabits per second, or very high um, preset. And all this does is it tells the computer that we don't want it to decide on its own uh, when certain scenes should get a higher amount of information, quality process, and when and and when other scenes shouldn't. Instead, we just want it to constantly record at the highest bit rate that we are able to record at with the Hophog HD PVR2. Okay, now under the advanced tabs, under the video scaler, uh, we do not want this on. We wanna leave this off and leave everything as is. This would actually be that if you were bringing in, you know, the best input, but you wanted to downscale to like 10, uh, 720p, you could enable this and drop this down to 720p, but again, we don't want to do that for the best video settings. Under video encoder, I actually like the default settings for this under high, four, and low. The standard definition aspect ratio does not apply to us because this video is strictly talking about high def video. Um, we're assuming you're recording at 720 or 1080p, not standard definition. Okay, and under the video proc, these don't matter for the quality. These are just your uh, lighting of the video and your colors of the video. That's totally up to you if you want to change those or not. Those are personal preferences. I know some people change them because they think it makes the video look better. But again, it's totally opinion based. It does not actually change the actual quality of the video. Under the audio encoder, you do want to jack this up from the default 192 kilobits per second up to the highest 384 kilobits per second. If you're going to have the best possible video, you might as well add the best possible audio for a very, very small increase in performance. Okay, and then one other thing under the audio encoder I want to touch on only because we're talking about getting the absolute best video and audio you can out of the Hophog. I believe this also makes a huge difference. And that is that right here you have used multiple audio tracks for recordings. If you check this box and then here under your mic, um, the way that this works is, for example, let's say you have an Xbox 360 hooked up to the Hophog HD PVR2. And it now... When you hit this record button, it will record the game sound and as long as in your settings of that device you have it so that the audio um, of people talking in chat comes out of not just your headset but also speakers, it will capture other people talking as well. However, it will not capture you speaking 
um, two people in the game. In order to capture your own voice, you must hook up an external mic. So as you can see here, I use a Blue Yeti stereo microphone. You could also use a webcam microphone if you have a webcam hooked up to your PC. And then you can adjust for the hop hog, you know, for the video files that's being saved, the individual volumes for the game, the voice, and your PC audio. Now, this can be tricky to do pre-video. That means before the, because you don't know exactly what it's gonna sound like, and once the video is done, it's stuck like that. Well, by setting all these to about three quarters of the way up, by having that under that audio encoder, this box checked, that will now write each of those individual audio into a separate audio file. So when you load them up into Vegas, you know, into Vegas Pro, for example, whatever program you use is fine. But for example, in Vegas Pro, you'll have your video file and then you'll have three separate audio files and then you're able to manually adjust the levels and decrease the levels in each of those individual files. Now again, I know that doesn't actually change the actual quality, uh, but I do believe it's important to note and I, do, I thought it was important to stop for a second um, to touch on that only because I do think that adds to the overall quality of your videos. Okay, so moving on, under audio decoders, I leave all of these as their default. To be honest, this is a little bit above my knowledge. It's about the only other th only thing I really don't understand about the program. Um, so I leave them all at the normal. There might be a better setting out there, but I don't know it, and I've never seen anybody that has discussed it. The under microphone, the delay, the reason this is here is sometimes that the microphone and the uh, sound from the hop hog don't quite match up. So this delay allows you to delay this microphone here um, that you have set um, to match up with that. So you might have to do a couple test recordings um, after you do all these settings first to make sure that the hop hog is capturing correctly before you, you know, actually go to try to capture real gameplay. Um, so, but that's all that that is. And again, I just wanted to touch on it because I want the overall quality of everything that you do with the hop hog to go up. Under the HDMI pass-through, we just use the HD PBR2 settings. And the webcam, I do not personally use the webcam on here. Um, so this is not something that I can touch on within the device also. All right, guys, that's it. Um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. If this video helped you, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below. And that way you'll get notified every Tuesday when we post up a new tutorial. We try to do these tutorials to help out streamers and video game recorders, you know, that are trying to do videos for YouTube and stuff like that. So they just include, you know, sometimes a quick tip on how to do something in, in a program or something or with something or with streaming or with Twitch, or it might be a long detailed uh, video, you know, but you never know. But just make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you're notified whenever we do a new video. And also when we upload our own gameplay or uh, our own uh, clips from our own live streams and stuff. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching again. Have a great night. Peace out till I see you guys in the game. Later.